I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay. Good morning, vlog. It is super early in the morning. It is 3.49. We have to leave in 10 minutes to go to the airport. So I literally just got dressed. I do have shorts on under this, but this is the dress I'm wearing for flying. And let me show you my husband's outfit. We got a Nova wondering what we're doing over here. Come on, babe, show him our outfits. <laughs> Here's our outfits. <laughs> My mom made fun of us, but we have like matching outfits like this like every single day of the trip and I could not be more excited about it. So this is what we're wearing to the airport and traveling in today to go to the Bahamas. So we're gonna gather our suitcases and then take the drive to the airport. I will update you guys at some point today. So we do have a layover. We got like a two hour flight into Charlotte and then we have like an hour and a half layover which really isn't a layover we just have enough time to find our connecting flight then maybe sit for 30 minutes and then board and then go to the bahamas which is, i think is like a two hour two and a half hour flight so it's gonna be pretty fast paced today i'm glad we don't have like a four hour layover anywhere but we're gonna go ahead and grab our stuff and head to the airport on our way there and we have the worst fog you can't really see but it is so dense it's so hard to see cars and stuff like that there's a car over there on that side of the highway and it takes a long time before you can really see it. But it is so thick out here, it's hard to see. So, hopefully we make it in time. Here's a video I took of the fog on my phone. This shows what it was actually like in real life. It was actually very scary. We're at the airport. We just had breakfast at a really good breakfast place. And now we're waiting. What time is it? We board in... 6.35. We board in an hour. I'm really excited. So now we're on our way to Charlotte and then we have like an hour and a half layover. Enough time to get to our gate and wait a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll probably sleep on this flight because I'm a little bit tired after eating, but they even had some Beyond Sausage at the restaurant we ate at. So feeling good, tasty. Here we are waiting to board our first flight and look at that sunrise, you guys. It was insanely beautiful and I did wear compression stockings because I'm paranoid about getting a blood clot and I had to board the plane first. I was in group six and Aaron was in group seven so I had to board first because I had a window seat and then he boarded in group seven after me so they just started doing that and I'm not a fan and all the other flights we decided to board together. Here we are ready to take off. We were excited here is the view from over North Carolina. Look at those beautiful mountains in North Carolina, you guys. The flights we took on this trip were so beautiful from the air. I used to have a really bad fear of flying, and now I've flown so much this year, I feel like I don't really have a fear anymore. So here we are taking off in Charlotte. You can see there is Charlotte. You can see all the pretty skyscrapers and we are on our way to the Bahamas. This is literally the plane taking off. And like I said, I'm not really scared of flying anymore. It's still not my favorite thing, but like, I don't know, I view it more of like riding a bus or taking a train. Um, and I got really sick on this flight, you guys. I felt absolutely horrible. I had to get Mentos and stuff because I was feeling really nauseous. I literally thought I was going to throw up. So this is a flight to the Bahamas. Um, I think it was the aircraft we were in on that first flight, flight that really made me sick. Here's a cruise ship I saw from the plane. It was insane. Like it was like a different dimension, you guys, seeing multiple cruise ships in the ocean below me while I'm flying above them. The views, like I said, from the plane were so pretty. This is the water. Uh, we were flying over an island right here, and look how blue the water was. And again, there's a lot of cruise ships there lined up um, on the island. And this is when I realized the water was going to be insane when we landed because if it looks as pretty from above, I can't imagine how gorgeous it was going to be in person. Here we are getting ready to land in the Bahamas. Look at that water. I have never seen water like that in my life. The Bahamas literally has the most crystal clear, gorgeous blue water I have ever seen. 
It's the things you see in advertisements for vacations and in movies. I encourage everybody, if you ever have a chance to leave the United States or leave your country and you have some money, definitely go to the Bahamas. So this was at customs. We had to fill out these papers um, and then we took a cab ride to the hotel. They had Bohemian flags everywhere. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. The flag that represents the Bahamas, they had them everywhere and it was really cool to see. Like, you know, the United States has a lot of flags everywhere and the bahamas also had a lot of their flags everywhere they are definitely representing the bahamas and i loved it the drive to the hotel again was beautiful they do drive on opposite sides of the road because they used to be a british colony so they drive on the opposite side of the road that we drive in the united states some of the cars have right side drivers and some of the cars have left side drivers it's pretty split when you look at the cars um which side the steering wheel is on i noticed that everyone is always honking at each other that's what their horn sounds like <laughs> I, again, I've never left the country, so I've never been um, in a car where you drive on opposite sides of the road, and it was so freaking weird and so scary, but I knew the driver was safe. The driver that picked us up was a friend of Jessica, who is the owner of Spoiled. She arranged everybody to get picked up at the airport. Um, it was kind of chaotic trying to find our driver, but um, she gave me his number, so I was able to contact him directly. Here is a little shopping area that I guess is very um, like touristy. A lot of people like to go down there and shop. Here is the bridge. We were staying on Paradise Island. Um, over there is the Atlantis, that big orangish building. Um, so now we are just taking the bridge over to Paradise Island, where the Warwick Hotel is that we are staying at. At. and here is the hotel that building right there is the warwick hotel where all of us are staying i am so glad that she decided to stay at this place because pictures online do not do this place justice i looked at the pictures before we went and i was like oh it's a really nice hotel it's also all inclusive but no when you get there it's like even better than any of the pictures online you could possibly see like it is absolutely gorgeous um here is inside the lobby we are getting ready to check in they have a bar in the lobby and this hotel is freaking amazing so jessica wound up meeting us in the lobby so we could get checked into our room then we just had a little bite to eat and met up with all of the girls this is the buffet they have several restaurants but that was the buffet here are all the girls um and then we changed into our swimsuits again matching outfits for me and aaron and there's tara that's my girl tara back there i will leave her information in the description down below she is a tall rainbow haired baddie i love her She's my favorite. Don't tell anybody else, but she's my favorite. I love her so much. Um, here is the outside area. They have a little lagoon, so it's not like a full beach, but it's like a little netted off lagoon area and they have nets so like fish and sharks can't get in that area which honestly made me feel a lot better and then they also had two different hot tubs. They had a huge like lazy river pool it was so pretty. They also have all of these boardwalks that go out into the water a little bit further. They have this whole entire deck right here for sunbathing with all of these chairs. That little pagoda out there is actually a restaurant. And then this pagoda at the end of that was just like a little lookout point. But here is the little lagoon area right here. And the water was pretty warm. The water was actually warmer than the pool was. And the water, you guys, look at the water. It is literally so crystal clear i have never seen water like that in my life so we decided to walk around and explore and walk on all of the little boardwalks and just look at everything this hotel and resort had to offer i feel like this trip was just like a once in a lifetime opportunity um look how clear this water is you guys are you kidding me it looks like a swimming pool i just could not get over it because i've never seen anything like that before normally when i go to like savannah georgia or whenever i go to the ocean in florida it's clear but it's not like this clear like a swimming pool like glass where you can see all the way through normally it's like greenish colored and it's a little bit murky it's not like literal swimming pool water so we just decided to explore but i was so freaking grateful and going to this resort made me want to take everybody i loved and cared about there like i'm literally gonna cry watching the footage because it was just so amazing you guys like just i was so grateful and during the competition when i was working to be able to go it didn't seem worth it and i was like i'm never gonna do another competition again it's so stressful and like so consuming of my life but then when i went i was like oh this is worth it 
So here are all the girls on our first night. The sunset this night was absolutely beautiful. This day was just insane. And like all the travel was so worth it. I plan on taking everybody I know to this place because it literally is like a different world. The people who live in the Bahamas and all the employees are so freaking nice and kind and just such good vibes so laid back and so like loving and friendly looking back on the trip as a whole i don't have one negative thing to say about the bahamas or this trip i recommend it to absolutely everybody um it was incredible here are all of us girls at the hot tub watching the sunset just hanging out um, so yeah, I highly recommend you guys stay at this resort. It's all inclusive. Here's the pool at nighttime. This pool is insane. It had a waterfall. It had bridges. It was massive. It wrapped around like the whole resort and there's plenty of room for everybody. Like you don't feel crowded at all. It was absolutely amazing. All right, you guys, sorry. I haven't really been able to like actually talk because there's music playing everywhere around here. So it's hard for me to like talk because obviously copyright they have music blaring all over the pool and everywhere we're going and all the restaurants like they have music everywhere so i've been taking clips but i'll have to do a voiceover so basically we just got done at the pool i'm so used to having my watch on it's weird not having my watch on 7 24 we have reservations every night for a meal at nine o'clock this place is the asian restaurant that we're going to so i'm gonna take a quick shower because my hair is greasy i've been traveling all day like it's been non-stop go 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 so i just want to relax i've been drinking lots of water i just feel like nasty from traveling so much so i'm gonna hop in the shower get ready for dinner and go eat dinner they have so many different restaurants here um i'll leave the website to this place linked below this place is insanely beautiful and um yeah like on our way here we drove through some areas that were like not the best and i don't know driving going to like a foreign country and seeing how other people live makes me extremely grateful and like thankful for where I live and the things I have in the country I live in. I don't know. It's just like seeing how other people live and stuff. It's different, not necessarily bad, but it's just different. And it makes me extremely thankful for what I have. You know what I mean? Aaron's been so good. I've literally just been hanging out with the girls. Aaron's been doing his own thing. He's been really, he went to the gym. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. I will probably film a little bit at dinner tonight. I don't know if we're gonna do karaoke afterwards or go to like the dance club in the, um, resort afterwards. I'm not sure, but I will definitely film clips for you guys. Like I said, probably voiceover because of the copyright music. I don't know if they play music during, they do play music during the day. When we came here, they had a live band actually outside, but so I don't know. It's going to make it difficult for me to vlog, but maybe I can like pull away and go into a room and update you guys periodically throughout the day on things we're doing. Tomorrow, I think we're going to go walk and do some shopping. And then Tuesday, Jess is talking about going to Atlantis and getting a day pass. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not still up in the air about it it's just really expensive um which i think she was, might be paying for it. i'm not sure but either way it would just be like taking up a whole day to go do that and i think i might rather just stay here and like relax on the resort instead of having to like travel over there and stuff like that and they also have a shuttle that goes to a beach and the beach is beautiful so i also really want to do that i'll probably do that tomorrow so i'm gonna get ready for dinner and i'll talk to you guys later so here we are getting ready to go to dinner here's aaron's outfit he's just wearing a white button down with palm trees and skulls and flowers on it so this is the lobby area and they had this bar here and then the bar opens up behind the bar into the dance club and it has like a flat screen tv here is my outfit i'm just wearing a black dress we decided to have asian this night so we had a reservation for the asian restaurant um it was really cute in here it's not too big but not too small i just had fried rice and tofu and Aaron also had fried rice and tofu and it was really really good here is our dessert it was amazing and here's Aaron's green tea cheesecake which he said was also really good then we went back to the pool and just walked around again massive I discovered there was a lot more to the resort than I had previously seen so all of us girls basically just walked around and explored this night um and they had a fire pit you guys this place is so freaking cool and I cannot wait to go back it's only been a couple months and I want to go back so bad I miss it all right, you guys, we just got done eating. Um, I'm just hanging out with the girls now. Um, we're actually gonna order pizza. 
because this place reopens, but I just discovered a whole other area. They have a heated pool. They have the lazy river that wraps all the way around it. So we're gonna go ahead and order some pizza and then I am so tired, like I'm ready. My eyes are so dry, I've been up since 3.30 this morning and it's currently like 10.30. So I'm so exhausted. So I'm gonna order some pizza and then go to bed. All right, you guys, I am back in my hotel room. I'm gonna put my pajamas on and go to bed for the night. I am so incredibly tired. The time change just happened last night at like 2 a.m. or whatever. So the time change happened and then I woke up at 3.30 a.m. to go to the airport and it is now 10.45, which originally it would have been 11.45. So I am just so exhausted. My throat actually hurts a little bit from talking so much. It's not like sore sickness. It's like my vocal cords are sore. You know what I'm saying? If you don't talk a lot or you're at home by yourself and then you're around a bunch of people talking a bunch, my throat is just like over me right now. My eyes are so dry from wearing contacts for this long. I never wear contacts for this long. So I'm just ready to put my pajamas on and go to sleep. So tomorrow we have fun things. We're gonna chill. It's gonna be a chill day. We're just gonna, we only have two full days here. So we're just gonna chill by the pool. Um, I'm probably gonna take a shuttle to the beach because the beach looks insane. So I'm gonna get some much needed rest and I will see you guys tomorrow for our second day in the Bahamas. I'll see you guys tomorrow. But before we go, let's do the advent calendar countdown from a future me. All right, advent calendar countdown. We are on day four. We have a little drum here. Put in the drum up here next to the little guy over here. That is all for today's video. I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.